with almost 200 nations attending, thousands of diplomats meeting, and any number of complex technical issues to be negotiated, COP26 isn't easy for any media organization to cover. However, genuine complexity doesn't provide an excuse for a mistake made by US giant CNN this week. That's because in their COP26 coverage, they fell at the first hurdle. They set up shop in the wrong city. Their star host, Wolf Blitzer, tweeted this morning, I'm now reporting from Edinburgh in Scotland, where 20,000 world leaders and delegates have gathered for the COP26 Climate Summit. COP, by the way, stands for Conference of the Parties. It's the 26th time they have gathered to discuss and take action on this critical issue. Well, thank you, Wolf Blitzer, for clarifying what COP means. Um, unfortunately, you should have focused on where it was taking place instead of what the acronym stood for. Ash, is there going to be an intern going, you know, having a real nightmare today because they, they booked studio space 50 miles away from where the conference was, was actually taking place? It's a pretty hard mistake to make <laughs> because people have been referring to COP co conferences by their host city for ages now. So we know it as the Paris Climate Accords. We talk about Copenhagen. We know it by the cities. And Glasgow sounds very different. It is spelt very differently. It is pronounced very differently from Edinburgh. So I'm trying to work out, was this a genuine mistake, which is so boneheaded that it's frankly embarrassing that an organization the size of CNN uh, could conceivably make it, that nobody went, hang on, are you sure it's in Edinburgh and not the other big city that's in Scotland? Um, or Maybe was it deliberate? It was a sense of going, okay, space, accommodation, all this stuff's at a premium in Glasgow at the moment. Edinburgh, a bit more empty, not so far. We can shuttle guests there and back. Enough, um, you know, for us to get content out of it. And we get the big castle in the background. I'm trying to work out if this was actually a mistake or not because the mistake would be so stupid as to seriously stretch my credibility. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my, my credulity, not credibility. Although CNN have lost that too. Yeah, I mean, I, sp I suppose their defense would be, yeah, there was a shortage of space in Glasgow, but you'd have thought if they made a decision on that basis, also they said Joe Biden flew into Edinburgh apparently, so they wanted to be there, you know, when the, when the plane landed, I don't know. But you'd have thought they would then be quite careful in what tweets they sent out to make it, you know, if we're going to set up shop in Edinburgh, we, might have, we better make it really goddamn clear that we know the conference is in a different city. And he definitely I mean, failed this morning. That's why he got rinsed on Twitter. The thing, the thing you've got to understand is that, you know, Americans are dealing with a much vaster country back home. All right. The distance between Glasgow and Edinburgh is what they drive for a Taco Bell. And that's one of the reasons why their emissions are so high. So I genuinely think that there is a chance that Americans were like, uh, Edinburgh and Glasgow are kind of the same, kind of the same place. Look at it on a map. That's, crazy that's like my kid's school and we're just like fuck it i don't know <laughs>